Legends out of the Nexus are a terrible pirate story, or most likely, Garfield Halloween Adventures, or Garfield Disguise. Ugh, so many names and titles. This was done back in 1985, when the animation was still a little new, based on a Garfield comic strip directed by Phil Romans, written by Garfield creator Jim Davids, and featured voice of Leona's Music, who is very, very good at singing. A special ghost story pirate theme original aired in Halloween afterwards playing around time the holiday won primetime Emmy Award of Outstanding Animation Progress. This was also a subject to illusions of children's book applications. I have one of them, of course, but it's the camping one. It all begins with Garfield waking early in the morning, obnoxious Finky the Clown. So Hey kids! Ah the horror! I hate clowns! If I could turn myself into a snake, I could coil him and squeeze until he dies. I could. So he gets ready for his candy, candy, candy. He says, This is the night I was born and for. I've been my best disguise. And then on every door, this is the night, the night, the night for trick or treat. Oh, yeah. Those are the music that's the best singing ever. And as it soon becomes a closer to trick or treating, he at first scares John out of his pumpkin, and the pumpkin gets on his head. And eat pumpkin inners. Ew! I hate pumpkin inners. Okay. I love everything pumpkin because, as I said, our village of bat ponies did raise pumpkin patches of pumpkin trees and all that. But pumpkin seeds, they're for planting, not for eating. So now, he gets off the scheme to think of, hey, should I trick only to help me? Why not? And he does. Quite a trick or treat with a cat and. He gave almost all the candy to them, save one piece of candy for the dog. Odie is tempted by the minimum reward, and two head out to the attic to find costumes, and an old trunk, and, uh, and guys, Garfield says, Garfield, John never throws anything out, and that's true, that's like reminds me of my grandmother. Then he seems like, what should I be? There's so many sides to see, I could be an alien on the town, a wear and a clown, and I... Uh, a king or a slave or a big black scary cat or a vampire bat. Yeah, I like the song a lot. Yeah, I'm only gonna sing a little bit of the song when they each come up because I remember them very well, only a little bit. And then they decide to dress up as pirates. As John Oliver, as John Oliver was eating lasagna, he comes as Captain Orange Beard, and he gets his lasagna. Arr, and with the stupid, then again, it was funny for him to have all those pig legs on Odie's hands. I mean paws. Then gave him sex. They had a good time not be late. As he had a trick or treat among the children in the neighborhood, would Odie express fear? Garfield showed him the carriage. They see only children costumes. But so far, they left out three masks and they met three people with, well, one was a real ghost, one was a ghost with a big foot feet, and the other was a troll with a troll mask. Oof. And they sing a song I may be lazy, I may be mean. I need a lap, and I do not have what I know. And the one thing I know that I'm scaring the cat. And then they run and run, up the up, it's a scaredy cat. Yeah, these songs are always so catchy when you first hear them. They're stuck in my head. And after that, they went and got. Also, they only see children costumes, also. If some of the costumes discover that some of the characters are actually supernatural, oh my god, that ended up scaring them out crazy. But then, they went to a few houses, they got their candy and their fun, and now they were able. Garfield thought he was the king of the world. To the air and dock, Garfield decided to cross the river on the rowboat to visit more houses. When Garfield told the rowboat to put the oars out, unfortunately, he threw them out. Oi, Kaloi, what a stupid dog he is! Leaving the boat adrift and currently taking it down to the river. Soon the boat arrowed to the abandoned dock and he had a run down mansion. They ventured inside thinking it deserted, but they had started by an old mansion in the armchair. The man relates a story say exactly a hundred years ago. Pirates pursued by the government troop buried treasure in the floor of the mansion, signed in a blood oath. <laughs> To return a treasure at midnight a hundred years later. Even if it means rising from the grave, the old man says he was the pirate ten-year-old cabin boy. Garfield only starts to leave, but then asks the man who wants to come too. 
But the old man had disappeared. So the man steals the boat. Oh my god, that makes that would make sense to me. Come on, Garfield, seriously. You fooled Odie to help you get candy. What else you would give a reward for? Your reward is for being bad. You're a bad cat. In the end, they were trapped. And they were just banging, banging at the long cat's clock, stopping it from chiming until it was too late. A ghostly ship appeared on the river. The pirate ghost emerged from the water. Garfield and Odie hide in the empty cupboard. Ghosts will claim their buried treasure from the flow boat. But as the cat dogs stayed there with the Odie sneezed and alert the pirates. And they're about to make it a run for it. And Garfield and Odie jumped into the river escape. However, Garfield couldn't swim. So when Odie saved Garfield as he could not swim, Garfield and Odie were washed ashore and found their both at the can stone side. Yeah, untouched. I wonder why. Huh. I guess that old man didn't have their teeth for gums and candies. They go home and happy. Garfield plays Odie's rescue by looking, giving him the right to share of the candy. And right before then, he was about to go watch TV. Then he sees the old man. And of course, ironically, the old man has Garfield's pirate hat. How did he get the hat? Well, one thing to know is that old man was full of it. Yet full of fear, I would say. So that was the end of our review. The voices for this mother of the Lonzin. Lonzino, Lonzino Music as Garfield, Thompson Hood as John Arbuckle, and Biggie the Clown. Hey, kids! I hate him. I hate clowns. <laughs> Greg Burgess as Odie, TV announcer. Lindsay, as work Lindsay Workman as the old man. Ooh. And Desiree Galton as the woman at the door. We have our songs. Good morning. This is the night. Trick or treat. Security cat. Breakfast. What should I be? Yo, ho, ho, ho. Skitty Cat and Yo Ho Ho again. And Skitty Cat was performed by Lewis Ross, who's done a few music. He's even done a little bit of the rock and roll movie. But yeah, this animation was primarily directed by the special Here Comes Garfield or Garfield Hunt, found in order by a company called Film Romans. The continued appreciation of the special Garfield in Disguise was one of the first specials he made under his own company at the Garfield in the Rough. And as I had mentioned, I have that book actually. Written Jim Davis stated that he attended a special begin of family tone to go somewhere that would at least scare four year olds. For the part of the old man, C. Lynn's at work was the cast voice, had previously voiced Garfield's grandfather in Garfield Town. Produced Lee Manson shows workmen search for the deep voice. Gamma was carried out in India, though. But Davis seen the animation source of the sorely cross design and effect of the portrait of the ghost. The animation slot to give the ghost a glowing effect. Workman character was designed and presents his invented age, with the stab and artist urging him. And the wharfs and all that. Different looking eyes. The music score, it was Ed Burks and Desire Gautier, with the employment having pressure to work at Garfield Television Special. Now, this was uh, now this was shown a lot back in those days. It, it first aired on October 30th, 1985, along with the 1966 Peanut Special Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown on CBS. Later years, it was often aired in Halloween season, along with the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. But by 2015, Garfield Halloween was not really regular broadcasting. As of four language books of Batista that was published by 1984 or 5, already titled Garfield and Skeletons, later retitled as Garfield Halloween Adventure, including the other end in which Garfield steals the ring from the pirate's treasure, resorting ghost pursuing the protagonist back to Arbuckle House. When Garfield surrendered the ring, the ring special included at the, the Garfield Holiday Collection of November 4, 2014, sold only by Walmart. Which was made available for digital download on November 11 that year. So yeah, this cartoon was a classic, and it was awesome. And plus, it was one of the most rarest of gems ever watched. So beware on Halloween night for the pirates. Arr! Adios. <laughs> okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel, and remember there's always more with me than meets the eye, or should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. <laughs> this is a special treat for those who love the Halloween songs of Garfield. This is the night I was created for. I'm gonna put my best disguise and go knocking on every door. This is the night I'm gonna hit the street. Cause the night folks are giving away so much good things to eat. Oh, oh you know the life could be so sweet. If every night was the night to go trick or treat, and wouldn't it be sweet just to get a trick or treat? Wouldn't it be sweet just a little trick or treat? Next one is Scaredy Cat. 
I may be lazy, I may be fat, I don't do laps, and I do not chat. I may be selfish, yeah, and all that, sis. But the one thing I'm not is a scaredy cat. The one thing he is not scaredy cat. I may be bossy, I may lack grace. I don't do sit-ups, I trim my waist. I may be thoughtless, yeah, and all that. But the one thing I'm not is a scaredy cat. The one thing he's not is a scaredy cat. I don't have charm or much possess. I don't chase mice. Oh, and all that jazz, I may be sassy and all that, but the one thing I'm not is the one thing I'm not, and said the one thing I'm not is a scaredy cat. Ah, the one thing he's not is a scaredy cat. Our next little song is What Should I Be? What should I be? There's so many sides to me. I could be a handsome or brave, a king or a slave. It's all up to me. What should I be? What could I be? What should I be? I could be a scary vampire, turn myself into a bat, flap, flap. Oh, I could put on some black pajamas, go as a big fat Halloween cat. What should I be? There's so many sides to me. I could be an astronaut, a robot, a hobo, a clown, or an alien creature going out of time. What should I be? Head all to me. What should I be? Yo ho, yo ho. I'm trying to find that one for you. I hope you guys enjoy the music. I love music, especially if it's from the Yo Ho. <laughs> I apologize, Yo. But I'm trying to find the list. Where's the song, Ravenel? Mom, wrong name. That's the name of this character you're writing about. Oh, hey, Sally. I can't find any other song. Oh, fruit balls. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a happy Halloween. <laughs>